Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Linnea Starr. I am a psychic medium. I do the past, the present, and the future. And today I'm very, very excited to share with you some wonderful experiences that I have had with a very spiritual family mm -hmm. that I met 10 years ago. We're calling this docu-series Starshine because my belief is that the soul spirit continues on and they shine down upon us as we live our lives. They always want to communicate. And I'd like to introduce Renee, who is the lovely daughter. Hi, everybody of the gentleman who comes back to me quite frequently over the last 10 years. So maybe you could share how we first came into each other's vibration. Of course. Um, well, the first time, um, you know, we heard about you is we actually had tickets to see you um, at a venue at the Hilltop in Sayas, and we were so excited to be going, and I was pregnant with the triplets, and um, I had gone into labor that night. So unfortunately, I couldn't make it. So my sister took my spot and um, she went and, um, of course, I was so upset that I couldn't go, but um. she went and um, you told her some unbelievable stuff. Uh, you had mentioned, um, you know, that my dad was around shoes. Why was he around shoes? And she was so little at the time. She didn't know that my dad actually worked for a shoe company, um, you know, in his younger years. You had asked her about a tattoo um, that she had in memory of him that you couldn't see because it was covered. So you asked her to, you know, lift up her sleeve and okay. show it to everybody. And she did. And it's a cross with his name on it. Um, so, of course, everyone loved that. And then um, you didn't get his name. You said his name. Lou. I asked for Lou. Yes. A uh, little kitty cat is visiting us, which is kind of cute. Um, sometimes animals make a connection to the spirit world. And I think what's happening is your beautiful cat that I never met before <laughs> is jumping up to kind of join us to let us know that there's a spirit presence yes. that might have brought her. Is it a she? She. It might have brought her the vibration. So I'm just going to say that so many wonderful things that your father has told us over these 10 years and many of them were evidentiary that I couldn't know because we were new to each other. But every time we see each other, you know, whether it's a professional event, a private event, or a personal connection, mm -hmm. your father always has something to share with us that is new and different. It's never the same information. It always changes whenever we have an opportunity to connect. And he actually came to me. Um, quite frequently in the last few months, and it is, his, it is his wish that he wants this continuation of his soul spirit life to be shared with the world. And my feeling is that the soul is eternal and that we never lose anyone. They're watching over us with light and love. And I think through the validity and the experiences we have had with your father on the other side, I never had the pleasure to meet him in earth time, but I've met him in spirit time, I think he's wanting to share with everyone that the grave is not the end, but the beginning. The other thing is everyone has their own interpretation of eternal life. Some people believe in it, some people don't believe in it, and I understand that and I respect that, of course, but the thing is when you see our continuation of the compilation of the things that your father has shared with us, it might give you pause to think that, you know what? He's showing us the hope and the joy in knowing that you find your loved ones on the other side. Mm -hmm. We will continue. We have other things to share. We have photos, spirit photos, where images appear. We have crystal pictures. We have some prophecies that come true. And one of the prophecies that I'll mention briefly right now, we are going to get into it, that he had said his young granddaughter that he never knew would be a very talented singer, as the mother is. And he also said that there would be some great success around her vocalization. That has come to be exceptionally true over the last two years, and we are going to substantiate that, and we're not going to reveal anyone's name or any details that would breach any confidentiality. We respect that, mm -hmm. and we would not anyone to be, wouldn't want anyone to be upset with us, but we'll share enough with you that you can see that what he told us has indeed come true over the last couple of years. So please stay tuned. There's more details to come. Today was just an intro, and Starshine docu-series will be back as soon as we can put together another format. And thank you so much for watching, and thank, thank you. Renee, thank you. Thank you, thank you guys.